something very small but very important point in end game try to bring your king to defend your weakness but if just imagine if white bishop is on e3 this position is better for white just because the bishop is on g3 square this is nothing special to play this move you need to be something very special otherwise okay making any random move queen c8 king g8 anyone can do but for this you have to be aronian when you are playing a very important game of your life because this is american cup and he is playing first round against aronian when you are playing a very important game you you think this game is very special for you and you try to make unnecessary stunt you try to do or you try to fuck simple move will also do the job but just because it is a very crucial game for him he was thinking simple moves will not work i have to find something extra special for each move so trying to make it special he made it even worse when you are playing a very crucial game you are extra nervous and tensed pressure nervousness all this at all these emotions you go through and when you go through all those emotions you forget the basic and when you forget the basic you make such moves hello everyone this is grandmaster devasis das today we are going to see american cup uh, match versus aronian against uh, sam savian aronian is white and this is all typical opening the bishop d7 is theory the first round was nothing special i mean i can show you the game quickly i will tell you a key moment this position so this is all weakness so black should aim that his king should defend this weakness this is very important ha huh? and then black brought his king to defend his weakness this is something very small but very important point in end game try to bring your king to defend your weakness now we will go to game number 2 this was a classical game second game aronian is black i will show you a critical moment okay if take this position this position it is equal nothing much for white but if just imagine if white bishop is on e3 this position is better for white just because the bishop is on g3 square this is nothing special so if you see the opening part that's why the bishop is on g3 okay because if you exchange this bishop with this bishop it is nothing special just equal because in this line black bishop on e7 is not that good so exchanging is the right idea and uh, white got chance later but uh, he played badly pause the video and try to find a idea for white white should have played queen h5 white played queen e2 which was not good it's like uh, putting your pieces in the most active square based on that principle you can play this because what happened is this and he played this if uh, black captured this then e6 black king is in some serious trouble white is having very good attack so he played this not that easy uh he did not manage to find uh, i mean this queen g4 was not that good he should have played this after bishop f6 probably here sam did not find the good move for white pause the video and try to find a good idea for white 
White should have played Bishop H4. This is a very strong piece. It is, he is trying to eliminate opponent's best defender. And once you exchange this guy, this rook will become extremely powerful. Let's say you take this guy, and uh, then I take this guy. Let's say you play queen f7. Now you see all this knight g6 idea. I mean, even if you play moves like this also, let's say this thing. And when you play, let's say, g4, knight f5, black king is extremely weak, and this knight is totally useless. Oh, it's doing absolute nothing. I mean, obviously, knight g6 will work. But I'm just showing calm move like this is also completely winning for white. So they played like this, but now it is somewhat like slippery. This position, white had advantage. White became pawn up. I'll just show you that part quickly. But objectively, this end game is draw. Okay, black click precisely. It's okay. But there are some very interesting moments. I will show you. Okay. Black is playing precise chess. This is not. And this move. Aronian played h5. You need some courage to make such moves. I mean, other moves are very equally good also. Let's say if you play king g8 move, it's still equal. But to play such move, you need uh, courage, confidence, and uh, what all other things you need. You tell me in the chat. Knowledge obviously you need. I mean, to see this, he thought for 1 minute 46 seconds for h5. Okay, this is something very, I mean, this move, to play this move, you need to be something very special. Otherwise, okay, making any random move, queen c8, king g8, anyone can do. But for this, you have to be Aronian to play h5. This part really impressed me. And this check, 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 and it happened, very long game, and finally it was a draw. White could not improve his position. And this is the final last beautiful trick, check, and this was a stalemate. This is the second classical game, okay? Now we move to the third one. Third game, Aronian is black. Throughout this tournament, he chose Grunfeld. This is all part of opening preparation. I will show you some interesting idea for white, just for your knowledge. Remember, this is a very typical idea. Okay, H5, G5. Let's say you play one move. This first time I saw this idea was from Kramnik game. Remember this idea. It has no relation to this game. But I'm just showing you some interesting idea. Okay, This knight into g5. Remember this idea. And uh, this is winning for white. So this playing h5 and whenever e5 is there, then you take knight into g5. This trick not related to from this opening, but uh, it comes. Uh, you search all Kramnik games, you will find this typical idea. Kramnik first used this idea. Okay, in this game, Aronian equalized successfully. White did not try to create any pressure. I mean, White did not manage to put any serious pressure in black. I mean, maybe by playing h4, you can try something, but he played bishop d3. Very simple chess he is playing. White and black Aronian played proper chess. b5. And here uh, is even his black is only pressing. Okay, he, they just repeated the moves and it was a draw was agreed. This was third match, which, which uh, was a draw. Now let's go to the fourth match. 
fourth match aronian is white this is catalan very standard 1000 games were played in this end game black uh, played very precisely he did not make much mistake black is playing all precise moves white had some complicated way to react but precise play everything is fine you can do this and this idea whenever this uh, bishop c8 bishop d7 bishop e8 f6 bishop g6 is very typical And it is just opposite color bishop, nothing special. So first four draw. Two classical draw, two rapid draw. Now we are going to, now we will see blitz part. That is real entertainment. So Aronian is white. Black is Sam Savian. Now let's skip the opening part. We will go to the middle game part straight away. The way Aronian played opening was not good, not recommendable. Here Black should have simply played this, idea c5, and he's doing more than fine. Let's say like this, takes, takes e5. If someone is better, it is Black. But Sam played e5, which is not bad, which is absolutely normal. If someone is better, it is Black only. Here. In this position, uh, after f5, there is an interesting idea like this you can do. Queen d6, b6, bishop d7, long castle, or sometimes they go a6, b5, bishop b7, queen d6, knight d7, c5. I'll just show you. After f5, they sometimes do this idea also. Okay. There is a game, Hari Krishna game also, you can watch. Hari Krishna versus Grandelius. He used to do this thing. I think it was Norway. Um, it's very interesting. Hari Krishna, I think, won against Grandelius. So, knight c3, a6. Sam got fine position. If bishop d6, you know, the idea of this is to play bishop d7, queen you develop f6 or this. You can do long castle. Rook g8, f4. If someone is better, it is black. So, it is not about objective chess. You need some part of luck. And it is a creative player, Aronian. He is taking a lot of risk. And after queen d6, this is not a good square. Especially, I mean, black has this idea in his mind. But I felt bishop d6 is like more simple bd6 move queen move bishop d6 long castle and if white moves his knight you can play this move if this then you can bring back then knight c5 typical bishop d7 so he played queen d6 bishop b3 and i don't know to my surprise they are playing some strange moves why black played h5 i don't even understand it's a blitz game i understand but why not simple bishop d7? Idea long castle. Only Sam Savin can explain. Why didn't he do some very simple thing? And also this bishop d6 is like typical Ragozin stuff. Bishop d7, queen move, long castle. It's very simple. You know, when you are playing a very important game of your life, because this is American Cup and he's playing first round against Aronian. When you are playing a very important game, you, you think this game is very special for you and you try to make unnecessary stunt you try to do. Or you try to fuck. Simple move will also do the job. But just because it is a very crucial game for him, he was thinking simple moves will not work. I have to find something extra special for each move. So trying to make it Special, he made it even worse. So, when you are playing some sim, when you are playing a very crucial game, you are extra nervous and tensed, pressure, nervousness, all this at 
all these emotions you go through. And when you go through all those emotions, you forget the basic. And when you forget the basic, you make such moves. We need to H4. And uh, by the way, let me tell you, Sam Savian, the one who is black, if you check his chess.com blitz rating, he's someone exceptionally great blitz player. Very, very good blitz player. So both players were expecting because they were making playing some solid chess. Both players were expecting something decisive result in blitz because blitz is the one where crazy things happen. F3 takes knight to F3. I, I will show you a very interesting moment. Bishop, queen. Because he wants to play queen a seven, so he played this. Here, it's total engine work, but you will be surprised to know how chess can be beautiful. Pause the video and try to think. Black has some very interesting ideas. I will show you one by one. Bishop under five, queen under five. Check, king takes. If you take this guy, huh? Then queen into c3, black is because queen knights are a very good combination for initiative. Tag this is easy. If you play this move, then this knight into d5, black is having advantage. This is easy to understand. He should have simply took this, and his position is more than fine. But black did not play. Black played bishop h8. Bishop f5 was very simple. Now let me show you something very incredible, which is knight d3. This is not human. Just for the sake of beauty. Take. Now take. Queen into 5. Then check. If you go king c2, then rook g2 is there. You will go here. Now bishop into c3. You should not. There is a... Many strong players say this. You should not try to copy engine. Or you should not say ki... It was 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, or I had a, engine was showing big advantage. What engine is showing, it's completely irrelevant. How human being think, how a grandmaster think, or how a strong chess player think is totally different than how computer thinks. You will understand this position. Black is completely winning this position. But no human can, not even in his dream, can spot knight d3 move. Impossible to spot this. And this is winning for her. And white must play something else, like he should play this or something. Queen f3. But not for sure take this bishop. So knight d3 is one interesting moment. Let's say he played this, which, is, which was not that good. White missed knight at six. White was winning because now this is falling with the double attack. But he played this. Rook g4. And he played knight f3. If you play king b1, pause the video and try to think this position. Black has a very interesting idea. That is, now look at this bishop, okay? And look at the rook. And this bishop can contribute something. And this queen is like monster. Knight c2. Because if queen into c2, rook into h4 is falling. If he takes this guy, then rook b4, black is winning. Completely. And if you take this guy, king into... Huh? And then simply move rook b4. There is no serious threat right now. Okay, I mean, I'm not threatening queen into c3 or no rook into b3. And uh, you know what is black's threat? Bishop into a4. If you take bishop into a4, then rook into b2 will. Let's say you make some, uh, after rook b4, let's say you make some time pass move. Okay, I'll play bishop into a4. If knight into a4, then there is a queen e4 check. You go here. And then rook into b3, black is completely winning. 
Okay. If take this guy, rook into b2, king into b2, check. You go here. Rook into d5. Just count the pieces. Black is one rook and one knight down. But black is completely winning. So the threat of rook d5 is this. The queen cannot move. Because if you play moves like rook c1, queen b4, and now this is coming. This is unstoppable. Let's say if you play moves like this, then rook d2 is coming. And now, a very bad mate, white will face. So, so the power of double bishop, we are learning. And at this moment, rook b4. So when you see such positions, your feeling for initiative will improve. Okay, this position, black is having very strong attack. White played knight f3. And uh, again, this position, black played bishop e8. This is, I mean, he became very defensive. I mean, if you are attacking initiative, you should go for, should put your pieces in the most active square. Bishop f5, he should have played. And after h3, now again, interesting, because h3 is the very, I mean, you are trying to kick the rook away and you play g4. Because the rook does not have any good square. But now bishop into c3, look at the beauty. Black has a beautiful move, knight into c2. If you take the rook, check. And this, black is winning completely. If you take this, then rook into d5. But there is no three piece for queen. Now knight e3 check is there. And you will, the king is extremely weak. This is lost. Or you can even take this and then this. Winning. Even knight into d5 is winning, obviously, because the king is very weak and uh, the pawns are pawns will fall. So this is absolute beauty. So last few minutes, what I just showed you from variations from here onwards, so this knight d3, knight into c2, and rook b4. This is just for the sake of beauty. So this was the blitz game, but when he, you are making moves like this, you are, black is pawned down, and he is making moves like this. And then white went on to win the game. White won the game. So Aronian is now plus one. Sam Savian is uh, white now. Aronian is black. This game, Aronian is playing solid chess because Petrov is... Uh, is a bulletproof line, Petrov, and but he is Aronian after all, and he enjoys uh, creativity part. And here, this knight, knight e6 is like uh, more typical because you do this idea. But he played this. Now let's skip the opening part. Let's go to the main more interesting part of the game because it's a blitz game. No need to delve deep into... You can study this position, but I want to skip this part. He played here b6. Uh, obviously, I checked everything with the engine. Engine is suggesting knight e4, and it's a very dynamic, unclear position. I mean, if you try to play this move, bishop d3 you want to take, you can just sacrifice the pawn. It's, you can't really take it. And it's let's say if you play moves like bishop f4, will be just play queen f5 and very dynamic unclear position and then you do all this idea okay but he played b6 i did some analysis if you take this guy when i'm taking white is having all this such of idea in future this rook will get chance rook lift I did some interesting analysis. Let's say there's this. Just to show you some beauty of chess. Huh? If knight e6, then pause the video and find a good plan for white. It is bishop f6. This is completely winning for white. Huh? If you take this guy, then there will be simply mate. You can't protect this knight because knight cannot move. Queen will fall. Decent queen will fall. And if you go here, then I was telling, no, rook k4. Because here you don't know, right? When you are taking this, you don't know that when this rook k4 will come. But this additional thing is always there. 
when and how only god will know but it is a thing now it is completely winning for white and opposite color bishop the one who has attack initiative they are clearly better take and simply mate is there this mate and if you go something like this look at your is mate nobody can stop this mate so after b6 which was uh, not good he should have played knight e4 but he played a big mistake and now white is having big advantage this is this and here he played knight f5 which is very human you whenever you get the opportunity you place this guy very normal typical but uh, this is like uh, very interesting obviously i checked everything with engine if i was white i would have played same knight f5 what sam did huh but c3 is very interesting according to engine this analysis just to show how big advantage white has okay and white is this bishop is very good you know what happened in the game white played this after this black cannot go here because uh, this is coming if you take then rook d8 is there uh the queen is in trouble so once aronian played this he had to return that part i did not like the returning here i did not like i wanted to this is you know typical royal base thing i wanted to keep my bishop on this diagonal so for that reason i don't like knight f5 but as i analyzed everything with engine and then i am commenting i don't have any rights to criticize white bishop f1 rook d8 and uh, here he played a3 if now f6 probably this will come because take 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 i mean okay sorry bishop f6 is coming let's say you take this guy queen in two take so let's say queen f6 and uh, queen e1 double bishop advantage and this is better for white so f6 was not working so he played this i mean i don't know i mean whether he saw everything till end that is doubtful but probably white pieces were like this probably aronian sensed that f6 cannot be good but this is something very beautiful Mm. better for white after this he played b4 and here i don't like bishop b2 move it's like you know hitting the wall sorry this is like uh, wall i mean i don't understand this move at all this is like human point of view what i'm speaking this part i had my own i i was using my intelligence i obviously thought bishop d3 is good move this is my this i can criticize this simple and you are This is a royal base bishop, like a open Spanish. Because if you play moves like this, okay, you come back. Let's say take take. I was doing some analysis just to show you how things work. And if knight c6, then knight f3. Idea is always bishop into h7, Greek gift. Let's say you play moves like this, and then bishop f4. White is having very big advantage. Hmm. Then you play like this. Here you. bring the new can think of h4 later h4 knight h2 let's say you can go queen h5 knight g4 rook e3 rook g3 huh? but when aronian when uh, sam played bishop b2 now things turned to black's favor knight e7 and now the side where you are strong you should play on that side but white is doing nothing it's it, these are just like spectator only i mean it looks i mean white is looking nice but they are actually useless not doing anything black got upper hand and aronian played well i mean this this is all fine he should simply take sorry take this guy take and queen b7 is losing one thing i mean after this this nothing is really happening black is completely winning but this is a blitz game so He played knight g6. This take take. I mean, if you take the knight uh, f6 check is there. 
Kiri should have played Queen A5 and uh, all this threat. But this is obviously everything within Jin again. Take and he did. He is slipping a little bit. But in Blitz, uh, you follow your instinct. Here, Black was winning by playing this move. Take and uh, Black is winning. I mean, then Queen C7 and you protect this thing. But he missed it. This uh, rook into d7. He played this. Take. You will see the how chess is like is like shifting from one thing to another. You will see. Remember, if Aronian draw this game, he will win this match. Hmm. But Aronian is like Aronian. I mean, he does not like all this draw. I mean, he must have seen rook into d5, and then it will be just uh, he's pressing. Is a pawn up, but opposite color. Bishop White has some attack. This king is a little weak. So he did not like this part. Aronian is like, he enjoys initiative and all these things. Bishop f5, knight e7, and, and now you will see so much beauty things. The As long as opponent didn't resign, like, always something very interesting thing can happen. And now you will notice that. Take bishop e4. And now all these things are opposite color bishop attack part. This, rook c4, knight e6, will go to a very interesting part. Huh? This, and again, rook into e4 was winning. If if you take uh, this move, then bishop into a3, it's winning. But he missed it, that's okay. He played this. And in this position, pause the video, white to play. I hope you found this beautiful idea. Queen under seven, take, and it is a mate. Imagine if Sam would have found this thing, then it would have been like Armageddon. Maybe, but but I don't know what is the rule of USHS thing. Most likely Armageddon. But he did not find Queen at seven. He played Knight D5, and now the again he blundered. Okay, but now. Because it's a blitz, there is no need to give. I mean, telling blunder, it sounds like. And okay. Aronian won the game. So, this was the beauty part. So, even legend like Aronian can make such a mistake. It is absolutely normal. They do this thing. And this is how Aronian won against Sam Savian. He won next round against Karwana, which I will cover in the next video. Karwana, then he bet uh, whom? Karwana, then rare option. Then final, he bet so obviously. I will do all those videos. So, we will meet soon.